Our special assignment unit has been reporting on your safety on the highways for months, specifically something called an underride crash. That's where a car slides underneath a tractor trailer. Well, tonight for the first time, members of Congress are publicly pledging their support for safety reforms to prevent those types of accidents. Special assignment unit investigative reporter Eric Flack talked to one of them. We should have been doing this a long time ago. Tonight, Congressman Mark DeSaunier of California says it's time to pass sweeping semi-truck underride legislation, laws that would require stronger rear guards on tractor trailers and for the first time, side guards on semis as well, all to prevent underride accidents when vehicles slide underneath trailers, crushing the passengers inside. When you have people who should have a long life full of all the blessings that life can give and the contributions they can make. When you see them cut short, you have to ask yourself, is there something we could have done to prevent this from happening? As part of our series, Big Rigs, Big Risks, we were there for crash tests at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety in Virginia. Those demonstrations showed the guards required by the new rules could save lives. How many remains unclear. Because of gaps in the reporting system, there are no hard statistics. That's one of the things DeSaunier wants to change. It's in everyone's best interest to get down and figure out what the risk is. We already know that people are dying. We know that maybe 300 people die every year from these kind of incidents. So there's an urgency to it. As we've reported, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has spent years considering stronger rear guard requirements, but safety advocates say those standards still fall short of what's needed. And NHTSA has not supported requiring side guards on tractor trailers because its cost-benefit analysis shows side guards would exceed the $9.6 million figure established by NHTSA as the threshold for how much is reasonable to spend her life saved. But just to say, no, we're not interested in looking at it or the cost benefit doesn't work, I think is really not just an affront to the families who've gone through this tragedy, but it's an affront to anybody who's ever lost um, a loved one who shouldn't have. DeSaunier, a member of the House Transportation Committee, says he is working with Congressman Steve Cohen of Tennessee and Senator Kristen Gillibrand of New York to get the bill introduced. It's a version of legislation written by Marianne Carth and Lois Durso, who both had children die in underride accidents. As we've documented, Carth and Durso have been going door to door on Capitol Hill since the spring, trying to gather support. I think it's making a huge impact. I do. I think that people are listening. One group Carth and Durso hope is listening is the trucking industry. But at that crash test in August, the president of the Truck Trailer Manufacturers Association told us adding the weight of new guards to trailers would force trucking companies to remove payload and put even more tractor trailers on the road, which he says would negate any safety benefit. There's a lot of operational issues you have to consider. IIHS says there's no data to show safety gains from new guards would be erased by adding more trailers on the road. And now some major trucking companies seem to be getting on board. Many have already started building semis with stronger rear guards that exceed current standards. And just last month, Wabash National debuted a prototype side impact guard for all of its trailers. One key thing the bill is missing right now is a Republican sponsor. And the Democrats who've signed on really want to get at least one Republican in both houses on board before introducing it. They know Republican support is essential. If they hope to get this bill out of committee and onto the floor for a vote, we'll continue to keep a close eye on this part of the story and let you know what happens next. Eric Flack, WUSA 9. All right, you can see and read more about our series, Big Rigs, Big Risks, at WUSA9.com backslash underwrites. So